Well, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Phantom Brigade. Let's go exploring. Uh, last episode, we fought a convoy, and this episode, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Oh, we've got ourselves an enemy here. Let's go see what it is. Arrowhead unit. All right. An extremely capable mobile elite squadron. What's going on? See, normally they would just, like, hop right on top of me, but, uh, that's interesting. Is that a bug? That is very odd. That's got to be a bug of some kind. Oh. Oh, we've got a little, uh, a little event here. Oh, should side catches your attention. The door is the mech. <laughs> as as the, the enemy has, has closed on us, there's someone, uh, doing trick shots outside. Your recent recruits, a hotshot former stunt pilot, has offered to dazzle the brigade with some flashy tricks. Most of your crew, all fans who recognize the pilot from his touring days, are eager to dem for a demonstration with the exception of the mechanics. Accidental damage, subsequent repair time, and supply costs are the top of their concerns. The sticking point, however, is the rookie pilot who wants to get hands-on. Mechs can be replaced with people. The rookie protests. They've seen battle, and one doesn't learn without risks, but this risk is worth a moment of fun. While the rookie uh, will be in the hands of a professional, what better way to learn? Fine, you don't want to crush the rookie's dream, but this is too great. We only have two mechs. We can't really afford to have them damaged. But you know what? Anything for fun. Let's see what happens. Trick flop. The stunt pilot hasn't lost his shine. Tension winds through the crew as the pilot tosses his pistol skyward and launches into an aerial somersault. Despite its bulk, the mech hangs weightlessly at the apex of its arc. Your crew braces for gravity's part but the landing is masterful, barely shivering the ground. The sun is in your eyes, and you miss him catch the pistol. Cheers go up, even several mechanics move. The stunt pilot instructs the rookie on the simplest part of the trick, the pistol toss. All seems well, but the rookie, overconfident in their first catches, goes for a higher toss. The pistol disappears into the sun. A few meters off, a tree, cleaved in two by a stray shot, comes down onto the roof of the base. Well, our mobile base, unfortunately, is uh, has been damaged. We're going to have to pass some time. If we hit uh, pass time here, we can make the, pa the time pass a little bit quicker. Uh, accident cleanup, you can see that this is going up now. Uh, we have to remain stationary. This is such a weird bug. So the devs did release a patch that was supposed to fix a bunch of problems with the system, basically. But it would seem that these new units that they introduced uh, are a little bit broken. Okay, finally we get... Base comes alive with the sound of boots crashing against the floor. In the hangar, an engineer shouts instructions to the crew. Keep your eyes trained on the battle console, settling yourself in with a deep breath. All right, let's suit up. Our second battle of the campaign. Let's see what we've got here. So it looks like we'll be deploying over here. They have two units that will come in as reinforcements. Level one reinforcements, probably just a couple of tanks. So we're 2v5 here. Now, when we've got five units, I would expect at least a couple of them to be tanks. Base is circled around the perimeter. We're ready to pick up the squad. Code red. Hostile unit contact. All units hold optimal range and await reinforcements. So, that's obviously not what they're doing. You see, they're, they're advancing on me. They're trying to flank me. What are we dealing with today? We've got a shotgun and shield. Okay, shotguns are very short range. We just have to kite that unit. Missile launcher and shield. This guy is going to be a real pain in our ass. Uh, missile launchers in this game are kind of broken. Missiles go in a, a large arc upwards. Let's have a quick look at him. Where's his attack going? It's going on to our... The, the counter to missiles is jump jets. Uh, unfortunately, this unit doesn't have them, and they are focusing it. So we're going to have to try and pull some shenanigans. I think we'll be safe if we can get to this building. Enemy reinforcements are expected to land in six turns. Okay, and we don't have to worry about collateral damage or anything in this mission, so... We're going to have to get this building to absorb all of those missile shots for us. That's our goal this turn. What do we got here? Oh, this this is a tank with a missile launcher. Oh goodness, that's that's very bad. This is a tank with an autocannon. That's significantly easier to deal with. Do we have any good spots to fight from? Any cover on the field here? Some good cover here. We could fight from this hill. Not really anything over here, just these buildings. Okay, so I think maybe what we are going to do is break right and then retreat around the tower. Try and get behind this hill over here with her. And then our other pilot here. Is he getting shot at by? Just this auto cannon. So he just needs to get behind this house. Let's start off with an immediate attack. Now the thing about the, the missiles is that 
they fly in real time. So what's actually going to happen is the missiles are going to start flying in, but they're probably not going to actually hit her until next turn. So we're going to, you know, move to a good position. As soon as we've got fire available again without overheating, we're going to put another shot into this guy. Focusing fire and, and making sure that you bring down enemy units is the number one priority in this game. And we're not wasting any heat scale, which is good. Oh no, that's very bad. Uh, so we've, <laughs> we've run into a problem. This unit cannot fire its gun without overheating, which means that every single time it fires its gun, it's going to take damage. That is extremely bad. Now, this is just, you know, sort of part of the growing pains of being in a early stage of the game. You're not going to have the best gear. You're not going to have the best weapons. You're not going to have an optimized setup. Now, that does mean that we can't really afford attrition of any kind. Uh, buildings are also destructible, so this won't provide us cover forever. Both next have missile launchers. This is... This is very bad, guys. You'll see why, but missile launchers are a real problem. Execute. Did some good damage. Okay. And they're all cluster missiles as well. Now you can see that because I was moving, the cluster missiles aren't great at tracking where you are and you can see that even though we didn't get hit i don't think uh i think i might have seen one of those auto cannon shots got through uh yeah because he has 30 health normally so he definitely got hit at least once he's not overheating maybe that's a bug auto cannon's going to shoot him through the middle of the turn and shotgun fires on him at the end of the turn but we're not concerned about the shotgun at all what's she gonna do uh she has a lot of missiles incoming from this side so we have to get the building in between us and them. Uh, the one thing about this game is that you can't really predict exactly where and when missiles are going to land. You kind of just have to eyeball it and, and it takes a little bit of experience to understand when it's going to happen. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, the missiles were out of range. Uh, missiles do have a maximum range and if you're outside of it, it will cause it to not do anything. And you see, we still got hit because the missiles took out the building, and then they continued to cascade into us. And we're about to get absolutely plowed by another rack of cluster missiles here. With, without really much of a way to stop them, uh, this building is not particularly tough. Oh, it seems that one of them has a, a big missile launcher. Best counter to missiles, honestly, is just movement and dashing will protect you from them. We're immediately going to shield up. Shielding up actually doesn't guarantee that you're going to be safe. These missiles can come down and like hit you in the head over your shield. That's one of the reasons why they're, they're such a problem, why they're so dangerous. Because there isn't a guaranteed way to really like protect yourself against them. Let's do it. Oh, see, the missiles just missed completely because we were moving uh, as they came in, right? And you can see the same thing sort of happening over here. They're, they're trying to track but they're, they're just not able to. However, this missile, that is going to hurt. There's not really anything we can do about it. Uh, it's it's just, it's going to hit us, I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll try and move backwards like this and throw off its targeting. As it's coming in, you know, we're, we're moving away and back. But there's only so much you can do, really. Um, oh. Then we're going to get hit by the auto cannon, but what we can do is we can use uh, the enemy as a body shield. Using him as cover. The entire time, and that auto cannon should actually finish that mech off. When can we fire off shots? We can fire off a shot there. Um, and if it's blocked, that's totally fine, because it means it hits the other Mac. And you can see over here, the exact same thing happened, right? The missiles tried to track where I was over here, on this unit, and I moved back and around, so they're having trouble tracking. This mech is in some trouble. Oh, close range missile launching? Perfectly fine. Okay, we're okay with that. Uh, now, she is getting shot at by the shotgun guy. We could go for a shield bash. Alright, let's do it. Oof. See, the missiles just sort of all fell around him. Our plan worked!
Let's watch that one more time from a different angle here. So you can see the um, the shotgun pellets just sort of fade out and disappear after a certain range. They have a they have a, an effective max range, and missiles do as well. They they just won't hit anything after a certain sort of uh, period. That auto cannon is not actually hitting the uh, the mech like we wanted it to, but that's okay. We connected solidly and uh, blew it up ourselves. Meanwhile, we are pelting into the back of that tank, and then its turret turns around to shoot at us. But we're behind a building. We cannot be shot at. Now, you can see this guy is about to fire another missile at us. It's going to hit the building. It might actually potentially injure him. So we'll keep an eye out on that for next turn. Because missiles do have an, a, a small AoE. Now, what's happening this turn? What is that? Is this a dead tank? I guess it's a dead tank. Okay. Yeah, it's charging at us with the auto cannon, and the shotgun guy is coming in on us as well. So we need to keep hiding behind the building here, and then we could go and like shield charge this guy, or we can just try and blast him with the marksman rifle in the face. The problem is that the marksman rifle deals significantly less damage at close range. So this is not where we want this mech to be. This mech wants to be. Like, over here in the corner, firing down at everyone. Out of range, preferably. So, we're going to make sure that that missile goes into the building, for sure. Throw an attack down here. With the tank. The shotgun pellets, they're going to be either completely ineffective, they're going to hit the building, or uh, they'll do just a little bit of damage to us. So we'll actually stand there for a sec. This guy needs to take cover from the auto cannon. So we'll run over here. We're also like immediately able to take shots. No, no heat buildup, pretty much. Fire on him. Take cover here. Wait there for a few seconds. Put up our shield just in case. Hiding behind this hill. Okay, let's do it. Pretty nice to see it's crashing. We are blasting it. Yeah, it's done. It's very dead. And no damage from the shotgun on here. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Fantastic. Now, we have left ourselves a little bit exposed here to this shotgun, but we should be okay. Yeah, he, he, wants, to, he wants to close with us. So, let's see. What can we do with her to keep her out of danger? She's also going to get shot by another missile. So in this case, because he's just standing still behind the building over here, um, we want that missile's trajectory to go as far forward as possible. So we're actually going to just continue running straight in this direction. As soon as our heat cools off a little bit, we are popping off shots at Shotgun Guy. Then we are shielding. And we'll continue shielding, actually. Against him. Or else we're going to continue running. Right, let's do it. Oh, I guess I forgot. I guess I forgot to program his turn. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh dear! Uh, command is getting impatient. Let's get this over and done with. All right, we've got a dropship inbound. We've got an autocannon tank and oh no, another missile launcher mech with an assault rifle. So that makes it dangerous at every range, basically. Uh, I wish I had programmed this guy's turn last time. <laughs> that would have been very helpful. Uh, that missile did indeed hit the building, so it blew up there. Oh man, they're immediately launching missiles at me. I need to get behind as big of a hill as possible. So this, this guy needs to go over here, because he's going to get bombarded by missiles. And we've still got to deal with this missile mech over here as well. <sighs> Should be one turn that we don't have to worry about these guys. We have to both swing around over this way, I think. Alright, how long is he firing at me for? 
uh, shotgun at that range is going to just be absolutely disgustingly damaging. So I'm going to continue shielding. We'll fire on him. Oh my god, he's going to open up on us again? Good lord. This mech might be dying this turn, guys. This guy is basically safe for this turn, so... Right, there we go. Make sure we've got <laughs> both programmed this turn. Alright, let's do it. Oh, we're just getting plowed. Oh my god, we got absolutely blasted. Couple shots of him. Okay, we've blown off one of his arms. I think it's his gun arm, so his his shotgun is now gone. So he can't fire that as again. Okay, perfect. That's fantastic. This mech is basically a paperweight now. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Didn't he fire off a missile at us? Oh, okay, there it is. Alright. So it's currently being fired off, basically. And it is cluster rockets, okay. I think they're actually out of range if we're moving over to the to the right this way. I just want to have a quick look at what happened over here. Uh-oh. Oh no. Some of the missiles made it out. And... Oh, they missed. Okay, fantastic. Missiles are not smart. They're really only good at hitting uh, stationary targets. More missiles. Uh, missiles are effective at point-blank range. If you fire them directly into someone who's right next to you, they will usually land. Until I've got a clear shot. Ideally, I would be attacking him from the other side as he fires the missiles at us. I'm going to immediately start moving. Fire off some more shots and hit his arm and blow off the missile launcher. It only has 12 health left. So if, if we can hit it a couple times, it's dead. And again, that mech will essentially be a paperweight. We can get a pretty decent shot off on the shotgun guy. So we'll do that. I'm basically trying to put this really high wall in the way of the missiles, and hopefully it's going to just absorb all of them. And we can't make another shot. We won't shield again, because we want to be able to fire as soon as we can next turn. Let's do it. In fact, let's uh, slow motion. Ooh, look at those missiles coming in. Ooh, we got a shot off. I think it went into the barrier. We didn't hit the arm. Unfortunate. We did hit the torso on this mech, though. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> the shotgun mech is gone. Alright, fantastic. Boom, boom, boom. And we've blown the arm off. Okay, so um, we've made this mech also combat ineffective now. Now, if you have a look at the trajectory of the missiles, you can see now... You know what? They're gonna miss that hill. Right? So, what we want to do... Like, some of them are definitely going around the side of the hill. But, they're also now at a height where if we change their trajectory a little bit by going over behind it, they'll probably turn and hit it. So he needs to immediately move back behind that hill. We'll just set him up shielding, just in case any of them make it through. That's blocked, that's blocked. We could take this guy out, I guess. I mean, we're gonna have to finish him off at some point. We'll just continue moving around behind the hill. We're going to hope that those missiles don't hit, basically. Oh, there is actually another flight of missiles also coming in. Is there any time when we can get a shot off on this guy? Oh my gosh, the big hail is in my way. At this point, I think I can afford to take a little bit of damage. Okay, run up here. And it says that it's blocked. So wait. There we go. All right, that should work. You are very hot initially. And then there's missiles coming in at the very end of the round, but in, uh, oh, and in the middle of the round, okay. So towards the end of the round, she has to be in cover somewhere. Can we fire off another shot at all? This fills our heat scale entirely, so we can't. All right, so let me shield. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Missiles all hit the hill. All right, perfect. And yeah, I expected them all to hit there. Like I said, we, we can afford to take a little bit of damage now. Let's run that back quickly. I wasn't really watching what happened with that first flight of missiles. Oh, okay, yeah, so that first flight of missiles, I overestimated their speeds slightly. So they're going to be hitting towards the middle of this turn, it looks like. He's firing off another volley as soon as the turn starts, which again, this time I think they actually will be hitting around the end of the turn. We're going to have to deal with the tank eventually. We're on the move as he's firing the missiles. Should throw off their targeting. All right, let's do it. 
Oh, yeah, we we got blasted pretty bad there. Oh, I forgot he has an assault rifle. Okay, so he was he was direct firing on us. He wasn't using the missiles that time. That was a uh, tactical blunder on my part, I think. We're all here. Uh, but his legs are almost dead, which will kill the mech, so we can just keep plowing fire into him, I think. Now, that tank is going to fire on us at the end of the turn with the auto cannon. Wait there for a second. We'll come back around. He's hitting us with a missile again. Uh, end of the turn. All right, we can't fire again this turn either, so we'll just shoot. That should be good. Yeah, that's all thing. Oh, yeah, we blew his legs up for that first shot. Okay. Oh my god, we're just we're mangling the corpse at this point. Poor guy. Oh no, the auto cannon blasted him too. And no hits on us from the auto cannon. He seems preoccupied with this mech, so this mech is free. So you're gonna hop over onto this hill. Let's make a turn to me. And it's the first time we can attack right there. There's his jump jets over there. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Yeah, just absolutely annihilated. All right. Well, another battle down. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the salvage. Defeat a hostile enemy in a liberated province. <laughs> Our own province, uh, the home province. Now, rewards and stored items. We get an accelerator. Oh, we get a very good accelerator. We get a rare accelerator. That's fantastic. Now, I'm considering that we should probably take some of these missile launchers, because uh, missile launchers are super, super good, like I said. Uh... Light legs, one shot. Significant area damage to units and structures. Okay, this one is also really dangerous. And the reason why is because it just hits a big explosion, essentially. It, it's almost unavoidable. We have a level two. Levels on weapons and stuff are, are extremely important, by the way. They determine how much concussive damage you do. Let's go for one of these. We'll also take one of these. That for the... Salvage, that for the salvage. That's a great torso. We'll take that. So we can take a, another missile launcher. And this has supercharge. Duration means that it, it fires more quickly. Uh, let's see. Less heat generation, that's great. And bonus kinetic damage, so it just does more physical damage. And concussive payload, extra concussive damage. Any more shield legs? We've got, we've got some shield arms. Damaged, plated, less mass. This is bonus integrity. We'll take that. We just gotta salvage a bunch of crap now. Now let's drop the weapons. The weapons cost 10, whereas all of the body parts cost 5. Or sorry, the, the arms and legs cost 5. Oh, it's because it's damaged, that's why. Oh, we've got a shield with barrier. We gotta have one of those as well. Um, shields with barrier are fantastic because you raise the shield, take a couple points of damage, and then it just recharges. That's a good arm. We don't need that pistol. We'll just salvage that. We'll take... Oh, we dropped 10 points. We'll take this torso, just because it's a level 3 torso. All right, guys, another battle down. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments down below. Have a great night.